Hi there, welcome. In this video, we're gonna go over analyzing stocks and funds using fundamental analysis. Let's get started. Going over to Handy Investopedia, which is the first site I recommend as one of my top investing sites and platforms that I use, definitely check out that video if you haven't already. We can see what fundamental analysis means. Fundamental analysis is a strategy used to value companies and stocks and funds in order to get a sense whether it's overvalued or undervalued. The key characteristic of fundamental analysis are the metrics that we use to value companies and stocks. We're looking at intrinsic value, so the company's financials, their income statement, their revenue, their growth, their profits. We're also looking at their market valuation, their price to earnings. We're basically trying to get an idea of whether we want to invest in a stock or fund by looking at its fundamentals. And now let's get started with an example by looking at Amazon. Using Yahoo Finance, which is the second site I use and recommend as one of my top investing sites, we can look at Amazon and do a quick fundamental analysis on it. First, we can see that one share is currently trading at about $3,200 US dollars. So that's what it costs to buy one share of Amazon right now. It's pretty expensive. They should definitely do a stock split. We can see what Amazon is valued at by looking at its market capitalization. Amazon is currently valued at $1.6 trillion, which is mind boggling. We can see if it's paying any dividends. Amazon does not pay any dividends. It's mainly a growth stock, a growth company. People invest in it with the hopes that it's going to appreciate in value instead of for dividend income. And now let's start looking at its financials. Looking at Amazon's income statement, we can see their total revenue for 2019 as well as comparing it to 2018 and 2017. What we're looking for is growth in revenue to show that it's growing in its industry and we can expect growth in its price share. Amazon has definitely been growing revenue quite aggressively the last few years and we can see that in its income statement. Going further down their income statement, we can see if they're actually profitable or not. Their operating income shows that they have been profitable the last few years and they've been able to grow their profits quite aggressively each year as well. We can also look at the net income and we can see that that's growing too. Amazon has been pulling in profits and growing profits each year the last few years, definitely doing very well. We can also look at their balance sheet and see how much cash they actually have in the bank. It looks like Amazon currently has $55 billion in the bank. This is not 55 million. It's actually in thousands. So they actually have 55 billion in the bank at the end of 2019. They probably have more now. That is insane. We can also look into Amazon stats on Yahoo Finance and get some other metrics to analyze them on a fundamental analysis basis, like their trailing P&E, price to earnings, their forward P&E, price to sales, price to book, and others. I'm not gonna go into these metrics too much today, but I will make some videos in the future that goes over these metrics. But these are the types of questions and information that we're looking in stocks for when we're doing a fundamental analysis. We wanna make sure they're growing revenue, they're profitable and growing profits, and we also wanna know what their balance sheet is like, if they're over leveraged, if they have a lot of debt or not, if they have a lot of cash in the bank or not, and other things. Fundamental analysis also considers macro or larger economic events and considerations. One is if the company is in an industry that it's gonna grow. Also, is the company a leader in its space, a leader in its industry? These are also fundamental analysis types of questions, which is the opposite of technical analysis which is mainly focused on charts and other chart metrics. Some people prefer technical analysis over fundamental analysis, so I'll go over technical analysis in another video. I hope this video has helped you understand what fundamental analysis is a bit more, and it'll help you in analyzing stocks and funds in the future. If you like this video, please like the video. It'll really help the video and the channel. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna wrap this one up, so I'm gonna bid you farewell and wish you a good day, a good night, and I'll see you next time. All right, cheers.